Step back in time and join us on a journey through the 80s, where we take a closer look at Hollywood's most iconic leading ladies. From daring performances to unforgettable style, join us as we count down the top 10 hottest female actresses that defined a decade, part one. Kathy Island rose to fame in the 1980s as a supermodel, best known for her appearances in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. She began her career as a model at the age of 16, and quickly became one of the most popular models of the era, appearing on numerous magazine covers and in advertising campaigns for major brands. In addition to modeling, Ireland also ventured into acting, with appearances in a few films and TV shows. Her success as a model in the 80s paved the way for a successful business career, as she later launched her own brand of products, including clothing, furniture, and home goods. Cheryl Ladd is an American actress, singer, and author who rose to fame in the 1970s and 1980s. She is best known for her role as Chris Monroe on the television series, Charlie's Angels, which she joined in 1977 to replace Farrah Fawcett. Ladd played the character until the show ended in 1981. During the 1980s, Ladd also appeared in various television movies and series, including A Death in California, Romantic Comedy, and One West Waikiki. She also released several music albums and wrote a children's book. Daryl Hannah is an American actress who rose to prominence in the 1980s. During this decade, she appeared in several notable films, including Blade Runner, 1982, Splash, 1984, Wall Street, 1987, and Steel Magnolias, 1989. She became known for her striking appearance and ethereal beauty, often playing characters that were unconventional or otherworldly. In addition to her acting career, Hannah was also an outspoken environmental activist in the 1980s, and continues to advocate for environmental causes today. Demi Moore is an American actress who rose to prominence in the 1980s with her roles in various movies and TV shows. She began her acting career in the early 1980s with small roles in films and TV series, but gained wider recognition for her role in the movie, St. Elmo's Fire, 1985. Moore then went on to star in a number of successful movies in the late 1980s, including About Last Night, 1986, The Seventh Sign, 1988, and Ghost, 1990. She was known for her stunning beauty, edgy personality, and successful career in Hollywood. Her success in the 80s paved the way for her to become one of the most popular and successful actresses of the 90s and 2000s. Jodie Foster was one of the most prominent actresses in Hollywood in the 1980s. She had already established herself as a child star in the 1970s with her roles in Taxi Driver and Freaky Friday, but in the 1980s she continued to take on challenging and diverse roles. Some of her notable films from the 1980s include The Accused, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress, The Hotel New Hampshire, Siesta, and Little Man Tate, which she also directed. Foster was known for her intelligence, talent, and dedication to her craft, and she was widely respected by her peers and critics alike. Her performances in the 1980s helped solidify her as one of the most talented and respected actresses in Hollywood. Vanessa Williams is an American actress, singer, and former beauty queen who rose to fame in the 1980s. In 1983, she became the first African-American woman to win the Miss America title, but her reign was cut short when unauthorized nude photos of her were published in Penthouse magazine. Despite the controversy, Williams went on to have a successful career in the entertainment industry, releasing several hit albums and starring in films and television shows such as Soul Food, Eraser, and Desperate Housewives. Throughout the 1980s, she was known for her beauty, talent, and groundbreaking achievement as Miss America. Tanya Roberts was an American actress who rose to fame in the 1980s. She appeared in several popular movies and TV shows during that decade, including The Beastmaster, 1982, Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, 1984, and most notably, as one of the Bond girls in A View to a Kill, 1985. Roberts was known for her stunning beauty and athleticism, often performing her own stunts in her roles. Her performances and popularity in the 1980s made her a sex symbol and a fixture of pop culture at the time. She sadly passed away in 2021. Carrie Fisher was an American actress and writer who rose to fame in the late 1970s and 1980s. In the 1980s, she became an icon for her role as Princess Leia Organa in the original Star Wars trilogy. Fisher also appeared in several other films during the decade, including The Blues Brothers, Hannah and Her Sisters, and When Harry Met Sally. She was known for her sharp wit and sense of humor, and she became a popular talk show guest and public figure. 
Additionally, Fisher struggled with drug addiction and bipolar disorder during this time, and she became an advocate for mental health awareness later in life. She would sadly pass away in 2016. Rebecca De Mornay is an American actress who rose to prominence in the 1980s. She made her film debut in 1983 with a small role in One from the Heart, but it was her performance as Lana in Risky Business, 1983, that launched her career. De Mornay's portrayal of the sultry prostitute opposite Tom Cruise's character was well received and made her a sex symbol of the 80s. She followed up with roles in the horror film The Hand That Rocks the Cradle, 1992, the romantic drama Beauty and the Beast, 1987, and the comedy Wedding Crashes, 2005, among others. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for part 2 of this series coming soon. Have your say and comment your favorite ladies of the 80s. Till next time, bye for now.